If you encounter a 5R55M transmission with a no fourth or fifth gear condition and possibly a delay to reverse <coughs> before or after overhaul, you may have a broken 4-3 pre-stroke intermediate band control spring in the valve body as shown here and also shown in figure one. When this spring breaks, the hydraulic passage to the direct clutch is blocked by the valve as shown in the partial hydraulic schematic in figure three. Replace this spring with one from another 5R55N valve body. Sonax will have one available soon under part number 569471-S1. Your only other alternative is to find a spring as close to the original dimensions as possible or replace the valve body with a new one as Ford does not service the spring separately. We have provided you with the original spring dimensions in figure one. Some technicians have been using the exploded views of the 5R55N valve body <coughs> as a reference to repair or clean the 5R55W valve body. The valve bodies are very similar but totally different as you can see here. We have provided an exploded view of the 5R55W valve body for you in figure one. The legend is found in figure two, and the retainer locations are found in figure three. While we're here, the solenoid bodies of these two transmissions are also very similar, but will not interchange. The easiest way to identify the 5R55N solenoid body is the reverse pressure switch that is attached. The 5R55W has no switch, nor the terminals to plug it in. Some 5R55E equipped vehicles may exhibit a condition that is diagnosed as a flare on the 2-3 upshift. The overdrive band must be released and the intermediate band must be applied for the 2-3 shift to occur. If the number two solenoid is mechanically sticking, the transmission will actually fall back to first gear and then shift into third because of the slow reacting solenoid, creating the flare shift feeling. Obviously, the answer here is to replace the number two shift solenoid with a new one. The number two shift solenoid is located here and also shown in figure one. There is now available from Ford Motor Company a throttle kit available under OEM part number 1L5Z7M203JB that will solve the flared shifts and gear ratio error codes that are common with the 4R55E and 5R55E family of transmissions. If all other things are correct, remove and discard the original bore plug and retainer from the forward modulating valve bore as shown in figure one. Install the new design bore plug from the kit, which now contains the EPC blow off and spring, into the forward modulating valve bore and install the new retainer, as shown in figure one. Remove and discard the original EPC valve and spring from the valve body Remove and discard the EPC limit screen from the valve body as shown in figure one. Last, you must install a new spacer plate that has this hole eliminated over the previous design EPC valve. 
as shown in Figure 1. We have provided you with a chart in Figure 2 for you to choose the proper spacer plate that will ensure the correct calibration is restored. Some 4R55E and 5R55E family of transmissions may exhibit a delayed engagement to reverse and no engine braking in manual low because of a weak reverse modulating valve spring located here in the valve body and also shown in figure one. If you encounter this condition, you can install a 730 seconds C4 check ball here in the end of the reverse modulation valve to increase spring tension and is also shown in figure one. The reverse modulation valve bore plug located here is at times very difficult to remove, as in stuck. If this happens, simply remove the 3-2 valve lineup from the opposite side of the valve body, as shown in figure two, <coughs> and use a long 5 30 seconds pin punch to gently tap out the reverse modulation valve and bore plug install the 730 seconds C4 check ball and reinstall all valve lineup.